Welcome back, everybody, to let's play more endings of Chrono Trigger DS. I've just actually defeated and completed the whole Xena and Bridge confrontation. And I have not yet actually talked to the villagers or gone to Donata Rum Mountains and gotten the Hero's Badge from Tata. So once you defeat Zombor, but before you get the Hero's Badge, is when you need to do this ending. There's a bunch of endings that are related to various actions in the Middle Ages here. It's kind of weird. But then again, I guess this is a very big plot point of the game. But the Ocean Palace is bigger and there's not that many endings, but that kind of sucks. But let's go back and kick level sets now. Oh no! I don't want to be Robo World! No! Put back all the other song! Okay, um, can I get an ending please? Yeah, I know it's coming. Yeah, the, the nasty attack that Lobolus does that I haven't gotten on recording yet is Grandstone, which is a physical attack, and it does some serious damage. Um, if you're playing the DS version and you bring Luca into that fight, um, word of advice, take the Elemental Ages off. <laughs> because while it does offer immunity from Elemental damage, it comes at the cost of it doesn't have any defense to you. So, yeah. Wait a minute, this scene looks awfully familiar. Why didn't she lose her bow, though? That's not an accurate depiction. And anyway, one thing I did do, I, I did end up putting the uh, the prison specs on Luca in her flare. Is indeed still a damaging uh, Chrono's Luminaire. However, she has more than twice the magic that Chrono does, so eventually you'll see uh, how bomb rapage Luminaire is. And an extremely high magic stat. You know, the, the, the previous ending, which was pretty much nonsense, had more action than this one. And they're robots. Like, seriously, they're robots. I mean, don't get me wrong, robots are cool, especially if they're giant robots, but at the same time, they're robots, they're not human. That's what separates us. <laughs> it kind of frustrates me when too many robots get hum too, too many human traits. Wait, 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 what is Tata doing sitting on that throne? What? Who, who said he could sit there? What's going on now? What? But wasn't Tata originally scared when he went to see the Masa Muni? He's like, ah, too many monsters or some crap like that. So you telling me he made it all the way here? Did he even bring the sword with him? Could he even bring the sword with him? God, I think it's like probably the place as big as he is. Oh, oh, oh I see what you did there, game. <laughs> Chrono's laughing at him. That's right, eight-year-olds shouldn't be heroes. You know, why were they playing the Tyrannal Lair theme in there anyway? I just realized that. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> the end. Hey, that's in a different font than usual. No swirly swirly around it, just the end. Okay. And there is ending six, the legendary hero. I'll write my data because we don't want to lose that crap. Yes, we want to return to the title screen. And load that file. Yeah, notice we're like two hours into the game. <laughs> and I've already like got to the point where I'm about to get the Masa Mune. Uh, right here. Yeah, so you don't want to get the hero's badge yet, see? And that says that finding Zombor is the trigger for that ending. So, there. I know most uh, walkthroughs don't refer to th refer to that as that being the uh, second point, but that is the designated change in chapters that kills that ending. 
So next time, we are going to get ending number seven. Wow, what a concept, huh? <laughs> Gee, we did, we did endings three, four, five, and now six. I wonder what's coming next. Uh, maybe, maybe we should do ending 12, huh? No, no. No, that's stupid. And lame. Good night.